Hello everyone, welcome to Melda242. I am Ramelda and today I will be preparing for you Bahamian pea soup and dumplings. If you want to see how this is prepared, then continue watching. Here are the ingredients that you would need for this soup. Okay, let's begin. I am preparing the ribs. That's three pounds of ribs. They have already been chopped up, washed. Now I am scalding them in just water. That's the ham, a pound and a half of picnic ham and one large conk. Now I'm gonna allow the ribs to boil and I'm just scalding the conk and the ham. In this large pot, I have two tablespoons of oil and a half teaspoon of bacon fat. It's just fat from the bacon that I fried earlier. That's the celery and the, and the onion I'm adding to the pot. I'm just allowing them to cook first because they take the longest to soften. Then I would add the green peppers and the two cloves of garlic. So that's the onion, onion and the celery in the pot along with the oil. Salt. Okay, I would be adding the salt from time to time. So don't think that I'm adding too much salt because only a little is coming out at a time. I like to season as I go. Red pepper flakes. Mrs. Dash, a little bit of that. And the browning. The browning is just for the color. Help out with the color. Give that a mix. Peppers. Two cloves of garlic. I've added those last because you know they cook quickly and I don't want them burning. Now I'm turning the stove on under the ham and conch. As soon as the water starts to boil, to boil, bubble, then I'll turn it back off because they don't really need to cook as long as the ribs. Two tablespoons of tomato paste I'm adding. Two tablespoons. All right. trying to stabilize this pot. All of this a good mix. Next is the time, the time, cooking time. All right, about a tablespoon of, of that. That's time. Mm. 
frozen tomato. All right. That woke everything up in the pot. It stabilizes this pot again, and then I can give it a stir. All right. I don't know why I just love cooking with these paddles. Alright, all of that to the bottom is just flavor. That's gonna come up as soon as I add the, the liquid. Here comes the star, the pigeon peas. That's two cups. Feel free to add more if you want more peas. But I'm only adding two cups to this. Just building, building the foundation for the soup. The foundation. Stir that through. Now it's time for the water. Now with the water, you have to be careful with that. Depending on the size of the pot that you're using, only fill it up halfway. Why? Because you're adding other stuff to the soup. Whenever you add something to water, it's going to cause the water to rise. So halfway is sufficient. Okay, the pot has been half filled with water. The stove is off under the meat. Ribs, conch, and picnic ham. Now you can add, we can add whatever type of meat you want in your soup. You can add salt beef, you can add oxtail, chicken, turkey. I'm using ribs, see the size? Ribs, I'm using ham, picnic ham, and conch. So whatever you want in this soup, you can add when it comes to meat. Or you can add it without meat. You can cook it without meat. It's up to you. So that's the meat into the pot. Now I'm going to allow that to cook until the meat is or until about 10 to 12 minutes. While that is cooking, I'm preparing the sweet potato to eddy and the cassava. So I'm just peeling this one. I have two large sweet potatoes and then I'm going to chop it up, chop it up into small bites, bite size. Small pieces. Eddie, potato and the cassava. These are two large sweet potatoes. What is dumpling soup without sweet potato? My mother put dumplings, put sweet um sweet potato in her soup. My grandmother did, my sisters did, and now I am putting sweet potatoes in my soup. That's the Eddie. I love Eddie's. But sweet potato is a must for dumpling soup. It is a must. Now the the eddy has a different texture than the sweet potato, so you have to wash this good. It is slimy, slippery. So now I'm chopping them up into bite sizes. I'll just run the knife through that again. Okay, I can get four pieces out of each of these. 
Next is the sweet potato. Now, these are going to be chopped up into bits. Small pieces. Just like that. Small. Next is the cassava. No peeling is needed. Just washing and chopping. Cut this up, wash it, chop. Okay, it's already been washed. Now I'm gonna just cut this up into small pieces. Bite sizes, just as I did with the potato and the eddy. That's the cassava. Okay, now they, they have all been washed already, so I just have to wait to add them to the pot. And I'm just giving this a check. Now I'm going to prepare the dumplings. Let's get this beginning. Okay, for this I'm going to be using two cups of flour. This is regular white flour. Just two cups. A pinch of salt and water each scoop is one cup just gonna put a little bit on the side okay a pinch of salt oh that's too much put some back that is too much okay just a splash now I'm just mixing it, mixing it together with this fork before adding the water. Now I'm not going to add all of the water all at once. Just a little splash whenever it's necessary. So I'm just bringing it together with this fork until all of the flour is combined with the water. Okay. Give it a mix. You would know when it's time to put it on the countertop for kneading. It's time now. Okay. To add some flour to the countertop. Right, just like that. Bring this dough together. This is the dumplings. I'm making the dumplings for my pea soup. Bringing it home. You don't want this to be soft. You want a you want a stiff dough for the dumplings because they would boil away if they if the dough is too too soft. So it should be stiff. Okay, that should do it. I'm just gonna let it rest for about five minutes. Now it's time to shape them. Flour on the on the top now the flour that I'm adding is what is going to make the broth thick it's going to thicken the broth so the flour is necessary so I'm just making the flat ones roll and then you spread them out with with your thumbs just like so it's 
so I would be making only the flat ones and the spinners. My daughter loves the spinners. That's the long ones. So the flour is necessary for this step. Now it's time for the spinners. I haven't put the potatoes, the vegetables in as yet. So, okay, everything is in now. Potatoes as well as the dumplings. Now I'm gonna allow those to cook down for about 10 to 12 minutes. It's 4.22 now. So about a quarter to five, everything should be ready. The soup should be cooled and ready to serve. So I'll just allow them to cook for about 10 to 12 minutes on medium before serving. Okay, turn that off, give it a stir. Then I'm gonna allow it to cool for about 10 minutes or so. Cool down because this is extremely hot. Look at all that goodness. Look at the conch. The sweet potatoes. Eddie. Oh my goodness. Cassava. Ham. Ribs. Dumplings. Peas. All of that goodness. That's the Bahamian way. Peas soup and dumplings. <clears throat> Everybody loves pea soup and dumplings. Woohoo! Okay, I'm just gonna allow it to cool. For about 10 minutes and then I'm going to plate it okay it's time the time now is 4 44 I was correct okay this is my hubby's serving so I'm gonna give him a good portion of this he waited long enough all right Some people like to see their peas in it, but this is sufficient for me. Thank you for watching this video all the way to the end. Feel free to give me a thumbs up if you have enjoyed. God bless you and I'll see you in the next one.